We're at home and in New York, we are celebrating Fleet Week from sea to shining sea for Memorial Day. It's home to two of the busiest ports in the world. Tons of celebrations are planned here with special events ahead for this incredible weekend. Well, San Pedro is kicking off Fleet Week with some pretty cool events. Yeah, for sure. And visitors, they can also check out the USS Portland. And the best part, it's free 99. Oh. Seabus 2, Tina Patel live on that ship in San Pedro speaking to some sailors. Tina, what a great assignment. It's so <laughs> cool, especially on Memorial Day weekend, a time yeah. to honor our service members. Been meeting so many great sailors and being able to check out this ship. We've moved up to the uh, to the the bridge deck, bridge wing here to kind of show you this view and you can also see the USS Essex there. That's another ship that's here for Fleet Week. Senior Chief Hebdin is with me. You are originally from the San Fernando Valley, so welcome home. <laughs> Thank you. And this is your second Fleet Week, first in LA. How cool is that? It's pretty awesome. It's nice to see, you know, from San Francisco back home to LA. I, it's, I love it. Now tell me about this ship. We want to show off kind of how big it is. I was just saying that to get up to this area, we walked a lot of steps. <laughs> you say that's part of your job. How many steps about a day are you walking? I'm walking on average 14,000 steps a day, up and down all the stairs and to and from the back of the front of the ship. It's a lot. <laughs> so sometimes are you like, this ship is too big? Yeah, I'm out of breath. I go up the stairs and I'm like, I need to work out more. <laughs> well, no, you, you seem pretty good. You were, I was definitely <laughs> huffing and puffing before I started talking on TV. Tell people what you want to know when, when they come to Fleet Week, what is it that you want them to learn about the military, the Navy specifically in this ship? Um, I want them to learn what we do as a as a Navy, as a ship, um, what the crew does and the awesome things they go out and do. Um, they don't get to see a lot of the operations with the Marines and uh, the humanitarian stuff we get to do. And I think it's pretty cool that they can come on board and see all that. So. And, and as we were walking around, I guess for you, it actually feels very empty because this is an amphibious transport ship. So normally there's just equipment, helicopters, uh, like things everywhere, right? Yes, on, on deployment, we had over a thousand people on board. So about 378 crew members of Navy side and then, you know, 600 plus Marines. So it's very empty right now. <laughs> on deployment, it's a different story. <laughs> but we're hoping that this weekend that a lot of people will come and at least crowd it for a little bit so they yeah. can see what you do, right? Oh yeah, I'm expecting a lot of people. So it's gonna be great. I'm excited. And is it fun for you guys too? You were telling me you were just out in San Pedro the last couple nights being able to explore. It must be nice as well for you. Yeah, so we actually had some kids on board yesterday doing a tour and they were running around screaming and they were like excited, like, what's this, what's that? And it was, it was just cool to see their excitement. And I'm like, hopefully some of those join the Navy. <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you so much for what you do and for letting us be on board today starting officially tomorrow and then running through the weekend and Chris you said it absolutely free to come down here so no excuse make some time and meet these folks and say thank you for what they do yes I love meeting them too and I love meeting our locals so proud of them and thankful for their service to the US thank you Tina